Hello everybody, I'm Jimmy the Saint, and welcome back to The Long Dark. Thanks for tuning in. Alright, so the trapper has marked a location just north of us. Uh, that should be where that little hunting blind is. I think there's a little uh, hunting blind there. So we basically just have to head north. We just uh, find the sun. The sun is setting right now, so it's setting to the west. That would make... Let's see. No, it's rising. It's rising. I'm sorry. It's still early in the day. So that's the east. That would make that direction the north right there. That's pretty much the way we need to head is just in this direction. Just keep going straight and we should run right to it. All right. Should be coming up to this... Uh... Ah, the spot. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, I can see one deer there. I see several rabbits running around here too. There's another deer over there. I think this is the right spot. Yeah, there's the hunting blind. Okay, yeah. Um, so should we shoot from the hunting blind, or will it really matter? I don't think it'll really matter. I'll just try and get one that's kind of close. I'm going to creep from here on, I guess. Try and get one kind of close and get a good clean shot on it. And uh, take it down. Bring the meat back to the trapper and continue on. Alright, right there's my target. Just hold still, little fella. Got him. Nice shot. I would just track him until he bleeds out, I guess. Oh, wow. I'm not even going to really have to track him. Although I do see a little bit of blood on the ground here and there. Is he going to get to a spot I can't get to? Oh, my God. Oh my god, no. See, there's some blood right there on the ground. You can kind of follow the blood trail from where he ran. Plus all the footprints in the snow. Um, but he looks like he got to a place I'm not going to be able to get to. This is going to be super weak if I can't get to the harvest the body. Starting to weigh me down. All right, finally got the deer, got him all carved up and everything. Um, there's another one close by, actually. I might be able to get that one too. I don't know if I'd be able to carry them both back, but uh, let me try and sneak up on this one right here too. I might have enough time to get two kills in today and get back, and get out of here, and then uh, head back to the trapper. I might have enough time. We'll try it and see. And there are wolves all around now too, though. The kill might be attracting some wolves. That could make things uh, kind of interesting. <laughs> nope, scared him off, unfortunately. All right, I'm just going to head back then. All right, I actually ended up having to go kill a second deer because one just didn't give a, a enough meat. They only give off about eight or nine kilograms of meat per deer, and he needed ten kilograms of meat. So I actually had to end up and go out and shoot a second deer, but... Um, let's see, so story, survival lessons, let's talk about the survival skills. What do you want to tackle? Um, hunting, I've already done that, right? I think you've shot enough deer for one day, you're done with that. Did he not? Oh, harvestable plants, there's one more, good grief. Seems as if you have your way, I'll never, I'll never be a vegetarian out here. I'm sure it's no coincidence that most of the animals out here are made of meat, Mackenzie. <laughs> there aren't, aren't there any plants I can eat? Well, yeah, most of the year you can subsist mainly on plants you can harvest. Berries, nuts, mushrooms, but not much grows in winter. And there must be something. Definitely, cattails. They don't taste like much, but they'll keep you from starving. You usually find them near water. Rishi mushrooms, they grow on tree stumps. You can make a good tea out of them. A good natural antibiotic. Rose hips, they look like little red berries. Also, good in a kind of tea. Great for treating pain. Old man's beard moss. You'll see it hanging from trees. You can wrap it in a bandage and use it to prevent bites from getting infected. Learn to identify each of these, because they could save your life, Mackenzie. You ready to give it a shot? Nah, why not? <clears throat> then go to it, oh mighty killer of fuzzy animals. <laughs> So we've got to 
collect eight mushrooms, uh, eight old man's beard, eight rose hips, and four cattail stalks. All right, so that's gonna take a while. I'll run around, and gather all this stuff up, come back, and bring it to the uh, bring it to the trapper here. All right, so I came out here to the lake to uh, gather the cattail stalks and look for some rose hips. Got a couple of each here, um, and I wanted to check out the lo the, the lake cabins because I remember we had a key to one of them. I think it said key to number two. Oh, that's number two. No, it was number three. It just said two on the key tag. That's right. So number one is actually over in that direction. You can't see it. It's behind those rocks. Uh, so that's number two. We should have the key to this one. This one should be number three. Well, it just opened up. Maybe it wasn't locked. I don't know. We'll check out a couple of these cabins. I have managed to get a couple of mushrooms and, and a couple of the things we need to get, to get for uh, Jeremiah there. But I uh, might as well loot a little bit while we're out here. Uh, let's see. Shelving. Kind of dark in here. Mittens. Search the cabin. I am super tired, so I may actually sleep for a couple hours out here and then head back. Simple note. What does this say? Directions indicating a hidden supply cache. Awesome. This small note looks to have been left for someone in particular. Hard to imagine as the area is quite sparse. I'm heading out to the clear cut. Put some supplies aside for us. Away from prying eyes. If you need something, look for the old stump between the two log piles. Okay. And the clear cut. Alright. Next time we're out that way, keep an eye out for it. Lantern fuel. Lamp fuel could be useful. Could, yes, it definitely could be useful. There is a bed. I'm tempted to just take a nap right here um, for a couple hours. It's, I think we've still got plenty of. Now the sun's going down. If I sleep, I'll have to spend the night. Um, so let's actually head back to the cabin. Uh, well, no, we'll go explore and see if we can find the cabin that we've got the key to first. Because I think I saw some more cabins over in this direction when I was w walking across the lake. So we'll go over here and see. Can't really get into this one, can we? Because the roof has collapsed, yeah. Yeah, I'll uh, go around behind here and see if we can find the other cabin. And yeah, coming around the corner, there's a couple more over here. Cool. So uh, the key that we've got should unlock one of these. Um, and well, who knows? It may have some good stuff in there. Oh man, look, there's a deer out there across the lake. Ooh, there's two of them. Wow, if I wasn't overloaded, I've already got tons of supplies on me right now. I might go after one of them. Um, let's see. Which of these cabins locked? Unlocking. All right, cool. So this is the one. See if there's anything good in it. Alright, so... I'm just going to light a match just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Ah, I like that right there, that pork and beans. Uh, I got a parka in here. Some flares. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad I lit this match. Can see better that way. Got a parka. Nothing really special. A couple of cans of food. Uh, it's basically just like all the other ones. Oh, there's some grape drink. Hadn't had any of that in a while. Let me light one more match just to make sure there's nothing I'm missing. That coffee tin. Anything in the trash? Nada. All right. Yeah. All right. Well, this place is a bust. So let's get out of here. Let's get back to the uh, lodge, and we're going to spend the night there and get back out and try and find the rest of this stuff we got to collect for the old man. All right, I'm back here with all the stuff for uh, Jeremiah. The last thing I need to put in there is four cattail stalks. Um, so let's see, those should be in the food. I think I've got... Hmm, did I not bring them with me? I thought I had four of those. Oops. <laughs> Where are they at? Oh, there they are. Yeah. Oh, I was clicking on health items, not food. My bad. All right, so I need to put in uh, four of those. And that should... Oh, journal updated. All right, so now let's go in and talk to him and see what's up. See if we can finally progress this story some. Like that was a lot of fetch missions we just did for this guy. You, you, you better have something. Huh. Something better be up. Not bad for a pilot. Not bad for a pilot. Yeah, well, 
Thanks for the help. I think I'm ready to get out of here. I have a little graduation present for you. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? <laughs> here. Well. Oh, a kniff. Thanks. You've earned it. It's a fancy kniff. And I have a feeling you're going to be needing it before you're through. I have a feeling you might be right. Huh. Jeremiah now trusts you more. Awesome. Um, missions updated. So we did all that. So we did all of survival school. That's everything on survival school. What next, Jeremiah? What next should we do? It's actually getting kind of late. I'm, I'm going to get some sleep. But uh, we'll pick this back up in the next one. See what uh, Jeremiah wants in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Hit that thumbs up button. If you like this video, post me any comments or questions down below. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching.